Bree Casey. I am a former Strikeforce Ring Girl. I have been published in Maxim and a few other magazines. I am currently on Wild and Out on MTV with Nick Cannon, and I have a few other things coming up. Have a good day, and let's get fit, guys. Help me up. Got it. What's up, Video Fort Nation? I'm Magic Bard, and for today, just like you saw, we're going to be doing some Instagram stories and making them more compelling, making them um, a lot better than just taking your camera phone and pointing shooting. So I've got a few tips for you here. Um, just so you guys know, before we get started, Instagram stories are up to 15 seconds long in a 9 by 16 format, so that's a vertical square. Now, before we get started, I want to give you guys some shout outs. So I want, okay, so we got a hard name right here. I'm just going to give you the lettering B J O U J. Appreciate the love, my friend, and filming with Nick. Thanks a lot for watching our tutorials, leaving us a comment, and letting us know what is up. Now, before we get started, if you're new to Video Ford, hit that subscribe button, and hit that little bell icon right next to it, so that way you'll be notified every time we get a new tutorial every single week. All right, guys. Let's jump into it. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you a few different ways of how we can create some more compelling stories. The first way I want to show you is a very simple. Um, all you have to do is basically screen record on your iPhone, and that is using the force touch method. So what you're going to do is um, you're going to open up your iPhone and make sure that you've downloaded iOS 11 that's the brand new software that literally just came out a couple days ago um, and once you download that you're gonna go into settings hit that control center hit customize controls and then inside of there you're gonna see a button where it says screen recording and you're gonna add that to your list so I'm just gonna delete mine and then re-add it to show you how to do that so once you've added screen recording to your controls then you could swipe up on your iPhone um, from the bottom and start recording by clicking on that new screen record button that you will have there and then what you're gonna do is go into Instagram like we have here and then you're gonna force touch on one of your clips and it's basically click and hold and don't press down super hard but just like medium strength and you're gonna have this shot that we're looking at right here and then basically your screen's going to be recording the whole time and to stop the recording you just hit the top of your screen and then that will stop it okay so once you've stopped recording it's going to create a clip inside you know a video clip of that screen recording and it's going to be inside of your photos area so now all you have to do is open up your photos find that video clip which should should be the last one and then you can edit it down or uh, trim it down so you don't see the other actions um, that you screen recorded. Um, so, you know, trim it down to the point where right before you do the force touch on your Instagram clip and, uh, and then trim the back end of it as well if you have to. And then just uh, press done, save it as a new clip, and then you can go on into Instagram and upload that as a story. So, you know, swipe right or hit that little camera icon on top left and then when you swipe up that will hold on turn this audio down when you swipe up then you could choose from clips inside of your photos album okay so like we have here and then once you do that I would add some text to it you know if it's a as you can see here this is a um, I'm uploading a tutorial so you know new tutorial out now or new video out now or new picture whatever it is that you're trying to um, advertise or show on your Instagram stories I'll put that as a text and then a little hack is I would also tag a location so as you saw there there's a little sticky note looking guy on the top with a happy face if you click on that you can add a location that way sometimes your story will show up on the locations story and it'll give you more exposure you know more people can see it same thing with the hashtag if you do um, a trending hashtag and you end up on the hashtag story that's another way for people to see you just remember you have to be a uh, public page you can't be private so once you do that 
hit that next button to uh, upload that story and then guys you'll be basically good to go now the second way that we can create more compelling Instagram stories is say if you were a fo photo editor or um, you know you like to do a lot of Photoshop stuff I'll show you a little example of how you can spice in those up and kind of create motion out of it so here's a Photoshop edit I did of uh, my friend Dan who's basically um, coming out of his own head so this is the Photoshop image I had and you can see all the layers that I have as well so I have his uh, sword or his machete right there um, the extra big head because I made his head a little bit bigger just uh, to be you know make it a little more humorous and um, so you can see how these are all layers now what I do to create this little um, you know Photoshop image as a story is I export all of these layers separately okay so what you can do is when you're in Photoshop is hold down the alt or option button on your keyboard and then click the visibility of the um, item that you want to export so if it's the sword or my machete I'll just click on that visibility and it will select that and hide everything else so then once I do that I can go into file export and quick export as a PNG and then what you're gonna want to do is just uh, hold down that option or alt button click on that visibility again and then it'll bring everything back to normal so what I do is you know I do that for every single element of the scene so you know this part uh, the big head um, his split head you know I just select it I option click on it and then hit that file export um, quick export as a PNG so I do that for all these elements right then I import all of them into After Effects so you know you can see I've done this a number of times if you follow me on um, at Magic Bard on Instagram you can see these on my stories um, so you can see my Glazer head split um, Dan Glazer that's his last name um, you can see all the elements that I have right here that I created into a composition so let me just show you what that composition looks like basically what I did was I created a new composition I went to composition new composition and then I made it a width of 1080 and then a height of 1920 which is a good aspect ratio for um, Instagram stories you know 9 by 16 so once you create that then you can add your elements in there and start to keyframe them so you know I could just show you a few of the keyframes that I did um, rotation scale I mean this example is a little more intense but if I just show you the animation of what happened I just have it I just have the camera like it's zooming out just give motion to it right and then the machete comes out cuts his face open I have a couple of blood squirts this um, explosion right here you know and you can add other elements that are not in your photo into this just to kind of move stuff around right I have that extra piece of his head just blown off right there and then he grabs on to the rope and the rope kind of brings him up into place and that is the end of the photo so if I just go back to Photoshop to show you the photo same thing right here so that is a you know hopefully that you know gives you an idea of how you can make your pictures come to life that way and uh, I mean here I'll show you what's another one I could show you so this one when I went down to LA with my friend Leo um, he's at 4k visuals on Instagram uh, we shot some stuff around the buildings he was sitting on top of a building I was shooting him up there so I just created this little Instagram story of um, you know our pl our little adventure in LA where I was creating a hyperlapse so you know remember this is just a picture and I'm moving stuff around I created these artificial flashes right here you know um, by using a mask and if I show you the opacity um, I just create a flash by you know going 100 percent and then dropping it down to zero really quickly so you know think of different ways of how you can you know bring your photos to life like that um, what else here's another one of uh, Photoshop I did with my friend Matt where it looks like he's I'm slingshotting him right so I zoom in on him and then throw him out on this slingshot adventure 
and uh, he explodes and goes into oblivion, right? So, you know, obviously these are, you can think of many different types of ideas for how you can bring your Photoshop photos to life. So that's another way of creating more compelling Instagram stories. And um, the third way I want to bring up is, of course, you guys are video editors. So if you're in Premiere Pro, you already have your exported footage. Um, why not create an Instagram story of you know all the clips and footage that you have, right? So what normal people, I mean, what you usually do, 90% of the people out there, is they'll upload the video that they already created onto the Instagram stories. Now the only problem with that is it will take your 1920 by 1080 clip, zoom in on the middle of it, and you can't um, edit it or anything inside of Instagram. So you'll have more control by creating a Instagram story timeline. Okay, so you know, go down into here and okay, so this is a little off screen, but um, you'll go into your sequence and then for the settings, just make sure that um, you know it's it's nine by sixteen, so you'd have to go with ten eighty by nineteen twenty, same as our um, AE After Effects edit. So ten eighty by nineteen twenty, and then that's how you get this aspect to eight ratio right here, which is your Instagram stories. Um, and then I'll just play this really quickly to give you an idea of kind of how I edited this together and how I did this was I started off with a music track and then I layered my clips on top of the track and cut to the beat and that kind of stuff so let me just show you that really quickly right here this was a uh, workout video that we did um, I did a while ago with Brie Tiezzi so let's play that I am a former Strikeforce Ring Girl. I have been published in Maxim and a few other magazines. I am currently on Wild and Out on MTV with Nick Cannon, and I have a few other things coming up. Have a good day, and let's get fit, guys. Okay, so that's an example of an Instagram story, and as you can see on the video, I did create my own custom text. You know, that's something that you can do in your edit as well, where I just showed you how you can add text within Instagram, but also if you want to get more specific with the fonts and that kind of stuff, I would do that in Premiere Pro or After Effects. So, you know, that's a cool thing that you can do is add your own little text into there. And then you can see how I cut the clips. Um, you know, sometimes I had one clip bigger than the other and um, just did cuts based off of the beats of the song. Um, and then also, you know, layered my clips differently. Sometimes I would go full screen with them. Other times, you know, I would just layer them like three in, in uh, three sections. So, you know, there's a bunch of different ways of how you can really get creative on this whole uh, process of cutting because this is really a, a new format. Um, you know, you could say that Instagram or basically the iPhone created this format of 9 by 16 otherwise we'd be watching it um, 16 by 9 just like every single TV out there right HD TV so this is a cool way of creating more compelling Instagram stories that your friends are definitely probably not doing because most of the time you know we're shooting stories on straight off of our iPhone or Android phone or whatever type of phone that you have straight off of that camera so Definitely check out bringing it into Premiere Pro and then creating a specific edit in Premiere Pro for that Instagram stories. And then the last one I just want to um, re-bring up or reiterate or show you guys once again that um, tutorial that we did a few weeks ago of the tripod drone shot so if you haven't seen that tutorial definitely check that one out that is a cool shot that you guys can use if you have a try if you have a drone or access to a drone definitely try out that shot um, because when you think about it I know I've said this a few times so I'm gonna say it one more time that when people are shooting Instagram stories they're holding their phone in their hands so it's all almost always shaky right 
Um, now, if you can upload a story that is static, or it looks like the can or it looks like your phone is on a tripod, or it's just completely still, that's another way to catch someone's attention because most of the time when you're looking at a story, you're expecting the shakiness and realism of someone holding a camera phone in their hand. So, you know, any type of tripod shots really adds a um, sense of differentness than what everyone else is doing. So, you know, it's a way to kind of branch out there and do something different from the competition. And I'll just show you kind of that uh, tripod shot one more time in the Instagram stories format right here. And then guys, that's basically it. That, Those are four different ways of how you can create more compelling Instagram stories. Hopefully I've sparked your imagination. You guys can come up with a few different ideas of uploading Instagram stories as opposed to just um, you know, using your camera phone and doing it that way. Oh, also before we end this one off, I just wanna show you how I send the clips from my computer to my phone right so for example I have uh, you know I use airdrop so if you guys have never used that definitely check this out otherwise use um, Dropbox you can send it to yourself in an email um, anything like that so you can see I'm right here my iPhone is right here and really all you have to do is once you have your exported clip just uh, take it and drag it onto yourself and boom there it is coming right you know sending right to your iPhone and there you go once you receive it it'll go into your photos and you can upload it straight onto Instagram stories that way I hope that tutorial helped and if it did please leave us a like and let us know in the comment section if there's any type of um, video tricks visual effects techniques you guys want to know more about and I'll try and address those as soon as possible this is video Ford on Magic Bard now I'll see you guys on the next one.